Hi, this is Axum, and this is a short tutorial on how to use the uh, G3SVN that all goons use that play Gary's Mod of Us. Firstly, let's look at the instructions. Um, as you can see, the very first thing you'd want to do is to download the uh, Tortoise SVN. Now, we have problems with 1.5, so we uh, request that all users uh, download 1.4.8. Here's a little link for you. You just click on it find the uh, 1.48 download uh, find the MSI file then you download it uh, save it to desktop whatever run the install program once you run the install program uh, it's gonna ask you to reboot okay you reboot and uh, then run to step two you need to create a new folder on your desktop or wherever you have some free space and uh, name it whatever you want to so for me for example I have a um, Oh wow. I'm gonna make a new folder right now on my D drive. So hold on, just gonna make it right now. I'm sorry, one second. Alright, uh so uh like I said, here's the new folder. I'm gonna make it right now. New folder, right? And I'm gonna call it something easy. Since we know we're gonna copy to the Gary's mod folder, I'm gonna call it Gary's mod. Just for simplicity. So now with this folder here, what we need to do now is, as we follow the instructions, we have to right click on it and choose SVN Checkout, right? Right click, SVN Checkout. Now the URL of the repository is given to you right here. See, here it is. All you do is you right click, copy, go back here, and you, sell, you just paste it in. That's it. Now, you don't change anything else here, you just press OK. Now this little thing pops up and it's going to start telling you, oh hey, we're downloading it, we're adding it. This should take you about two hours at least. You're downloading over 700 megabytes, which will then uncompress to over 3 gigabytes. Now, it's pretty important that you get all these add-ons or you will have issues playing with us on the Goon servers. Now, um, I'm, we're not going to wait here for three hours, so... As you can see, it's downloading. Uh, I'm going to cancel this now. It's going to, you know, we're going to assume that it finished downloading, okay? Because there's no way in hell we're going to wait for two hours. So I'm just waiting for it to cancel. And now while I'm waiting, I'm going to start preparing the next folder. So hold on, excuse me. Well, uh, Here's what's going to look like on the inside. Once uh, your Gary's Mod folder finishes downloading, it fills up, etc., etc. This is the SVN that we're talking about. On the inside, it's going to look like this. You have add-ons, data, game modes, whatever. All of this stuff is going to download. It's going to look just like this. I have a completely fresh copy here because since I'm the guy that actually updates the SVN, I need a copy of it completely fresh so that I can add new items as I need to. Now, what you're going to do here is you're just going to take everything, right? And you are going to, uh, you know, it's even better just to go and select the whole folder. So you go ahead and you see, here's your whole Gary's Mod folder that you just downloaded to, right? Now we put this, uh, this, this is the empty folder that you just created two hours ago. You right click, copy, and then you go to your Steam folder here's your steam folder right wherever you have it you go to steam apps right uh, your username Gary's mod now here's the second Gary's mod folder this is the Gary's mod folder that uh, that has all your game files here they are you're not gonna have these check marks yet because you have not copied over your SVN yet so anyways right here you right click and you click paste. Now I'm not going to do it or I'm going to screw up everything that I already have. But it's going to start copying. It's going to say the one overwrite. You say yes, whatever. Eh, it's going to take like what? An hour? No, not an hour. Ten minutes. It's going to overwrite everything. And you're going to end up with this. This folder. So you have the main Gary's Mod folder and you have the internal Gary's Mod folder. And from then on, you'll have all the add-ons once the paste is complete. And to update from now on, all you do is you go to this folder, you right click you click update and uh, give it a few minutes and see it's gonna start updating including all the externals and uh, 
if you can see you can also use a batch file you can do that too it's up to you or you can do what I just showed you you just right click and you update if there's any more questions ask in the thread it should be pretty simple thanks for listening